This painting by Jay Johnston is from the Woodland Elf book called A Magical Tale of Winter. And there are secrets in every painting. The girl on the left happens to be Jay's daughter. One of the main characters in the series always has a T on his coat, and that's how you know who Tanglewood is. This painting is filled with marvelous detail. This painting, also by J. Johnston, is also from A Magical Tale of Winter. It depicts a common scene in many American youth, but specific to Sherry Williamson's childhood, of building snow forts in the winter in the neighborhood. Juggo here is J. Johnston's brother rumored to be the only brother who's not very musical. So he blows air across the opening of the jug and that's how he makes his music. And you see, you saw him in the other painting uh, right here. He's not drinking, he's blowing air across the opening of the jug to make music. You can see that kid got hit in the head with a snowball. And so did he. This is fairly common experience and fond memory of most children. Not necessarily getting hit in the head, but this guy's got a really good fort. Sherry, tell us about wh wh where you're sitting. I am sitting at one of my very favorite places in Marion, Ohio, the home of Carol's Jewelry Store, owned by Lowell Thurston. It's been our favorite place for decades and decades, and we love being here. Well, guess what Lowell does for us? He stores all of Jay Johnston's original pieces of art in his vault here, because well, I'm not going to keep them in my house at home, and Jay's not going to keep them in his home. So Lowell gives us permission to store all of the pieces of art right here in his huge walk-in vault and it's fabulous so well how much are these how much are these paintings worth a piece you know what i would hate to say i just know i don't want to be responsible for them jay has sold many of his original paintings for thirteen thousand dollars a piece wow so i don't want to be responsible for five books it's um probably somewhere close to 120 paintings wow amazing so Makes me very nervous to have them at our home. So here they are, Carol Schumer store. Lowell graciously allows us the privilege of storing them here. Fireproof, burglar proof. Yeah, oh, fireproof, burglar proof. Yeah. What more can we ask? Anything else about the vault? Fireproof, burglar proof. Okay. Not at the moment. So can you tell us your name? Uh, my name's Jay Johnston. Born and raised in Marion, Ohio. And this is what you're working on right now? This is a commission piece I'm working on for a, a lady down in Florida. This is her daughter. She's an equestrian. And she's won many competitions with this horse. So they wanted to wow. commemorate the horse and her. That's so fabulous. It's uh, This is like a photo she gave me. Um, and so you're just painting it from the photo? I'm just photo. painting from the photo. Amazing. Uh, Let's see. Where's the... I can't find Still got a lot to do, even though this looks finished. It's really not. All. I'll be going over this all again, adding more texture and detail. Wow. And can you tell us about the piece behind you, Jay? This is the... Uh, are you getting glare or anything? We're all set. So this is a I love history, I love sports. This is a 1968 
World Series, Detroit Tigers against the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Bob Gibson's pitching, he was just, he just recently passed away. Might have been one of the greatest pitchers ever in the history of baseball. Even though I'm a Tigers fan, in this particular game, Bob Gibson shut him down. Uh, but the Tigers won the series. <laughs> well, thanks for inviting us into your studio, Jay. Uh, this here is uh, Jack Dempsey. I'm a boxing fan. I love the history of boxing. Just a real mean looking guy. He just looks like a fighter. Uh, this particular painting, he's in training for the championship fight where he won the championship against a guy named uh, Jess Willer. Awesome. One of my favorite baseball players from the past, Ty Cobb. So this is probably about the year 1908. Playing against the then Philadelphia Athletics. Not the Oakland Athletics as they are now. And he was known for his base stealing and running and hitting. And this is a particular scene of him sliding into third base. Fan. <laughs> this is back when they were actually good. <laughs> Playing in the snow up in Cleveland. That's Bernie Kosar, the quarterback. Titled this one, December Dogs. Awesome title. Okay, go ahead. This is the great Negro Leagues pitcher back before they were allowed to be in the major leagues. They had their own leagues. And that's the great Satchel Page. Possibly the greatest pitcher ever in any kind of major professional baseball. Playing against the team, the the Grays, and this particular painting got accepted to a national, there's a National Museum of Sports Art in Indianapolis, Indiana, and they had a competition for the whole world, actually. And they only took uh, 50 paintings for the exhibit, and this was one of them that they, they took. Wow, amazing. Okay, go ahead. Uh, one of my favorite players from the past, Ray Nitschke. And uh, I called this one uh, Necessary Roughness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suspect if you did this today at today's football, he would get a penalty for doing that. Right. I'm sure. It's called yeah. taunting. <clears throat> the detail. That's it's just the old, uh, this is the old quarterback. That's the old Washington Redskins uniform. What's his name again? Sonny Jurgensen. The painting of Ty Cobb is the guy, the painting of the guy sliding in the base. This is more of a portrait of him. Amazing. They say he was quite the nasty man. But some of the books I read about him, I think a lot of the nastiness they write about him was overrated. He wasn't as mean as they said he was. They said he was a, a racist and everything, but I don't... He helped a lot of black players with money. He, he, he was one of the first investors in Coca-Cola, made him a millionaire down in Georgia. Wow. And he used a lot of his money to help the baseball players that didn't do well after retirement. Helped them out. Wow. Took care of them. He wasn't as mean as a guy as they said he was. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I love history. I always like the history of the Battle of the Alamo. Mm -hmm. Davy Crockett, when I was a little kid, and everything watching. But what a lot of people don't know, they watched the movies with John Wayne. It didn't happen in the middle of the afternoon. It happened about 4:30 in the morning. Really? Is when they attacked. So I had to figure out how to create a light source. So they did use flash light, flash bombs to create light when they were attacking. That's what this is. Wow. And it's exploding and creating a light source. And you can see by the hard shadows I put. 
and this is near the end of the battle from what, everything I've read Davy Crockett and his men had this position here and they were closing in on him there weren't, weren't many left and they actually captured according to a diary they captured Davy and about six other men alive didn't kill him but they did execute him the next morning so that, that's what this is kind of like depicting <laughs> This guy here is one of Carmen's nephews. Get out. He posed for me. That's your wife's here. nephew. Yeah, when they visited here. Yeah. I dressed him up like this and I got guns and stuff. And I... That's an amazing story. Davy Crockett is actually my daughter's fiance. <laughs> he posed that picture. It's the uh, 1968 Ohio State Michigan game where uh, the Buckeyes won 50 to 14, and then they went on to win the national championship against USC that had uh -huh. OJ Simpson. And the quarterback, number 10, Rex Kern, I actually got to meet him after that game. He came to our church and gave a talk, and I got an autograph and everything. Amazing. Great stories. Go ahead. Tell me about this painting, Jay. Well, that's a graphite pencil. <laughs> wife Carmen and our daughter Jennifer when she was four years old. Okay, it's tell me about pencil graphite with my wife Carmen and our daughter Jennifer when she was four years old. I set up the lighting and everything to get the dramatic shadows and everything. Great.